Hey guys, this video will have a more vlog-like structure where I'll tell you what I'm currently working on. So let's get started. Great, so for the past three weeks I've been working for the UK because I just couldn't handle Vienna anymore. The heat was insane and I just can't focus when it's hot outside. I'm not sure why then I bought the flight to Hawaii a few days ago. And here am I in beautiful Oahu. Anyways, the reason why I came here to Hawaii is that I want to expand my limits of what's possible. The US is very advanced in terms of technology and I want to go to the biggest technology hubs in the world just to rub some of that energy on me and learn some new things great so in terms of everything you can see that my upload schedule is not very consistent it's not going as planned due to all the other activities and priorities that i have and all the other things that i'm currently working on from what i learned on myself the more tasks you're working on at the same time the less you achieve you have to just focus on things that you really want to master and go all in if you want to really achieve something substantial. You can't strive to be a master of all crafts because essentially you'll end up being a master of none. I really know this and you can also see it on this YouTube channel and other pieces of social media. I've been actively trying multiple pieces of content and seeing what works. With that being said, most days I unfortunately don't have the time nor energy to peak the quality of the videos. Perhaps I was even thinking of creating a completely new type of videos, adding more photos, more b-roll, make them more interactive and, and perhaps even introduce new advanced animations just to be able to get those concepts over to you much better so that you're able to extract even more value from the videos which is essentially the reason why we're doing all of this and i made a decision that for now my priority is still my school and finishing my bachelor's degree at the university of vienna vienna university of business and economics at least for the next 10 months where i really plan on finishing it all in terms of my school in the end i didn't end up qualifying for an exchange semester in the us as i initially planned i should have gone to university of maryland in washington D or the University of Arizona in Phoenix. However, I canceled it. There was just so much stuff that I was trying to figure out that I just needed a bit more space in my head. Yeah, so now I'm working on my academic thesis about Drink Prime and the whole marketing strategy behind it that enabled it to become so successful within not even two years that it's on the market. And I'm also doing research about some other influencer-based brands that have made it big for example feastables proper 12 or the forged irish stout from conor mcgregor so i'm really just analyzing the marketing and distribution behind it just to be able to get a better gist how the pros are doing it when it comes to my gym my gym is going fine even though i had a few problems with my back because of lifting heavy weights i'm really starting to feel a bit better now whatever happens it doesn't really matter how much work i need to do how many tasks i need to finish i always find time for gym because it's one of my priorities just keeping up the momentum and just keeping up the program that I have in my gym or at least in my fitness whether I'm sleeping just four hours during the night or whether I'm traveling it doesn't really matter I always find time to hit the gym and it's non-negotiable for me I'm also planning to start eating a bit healthier once I get back to Vienna I want to buy a lot of new gadgets for my apartment including a new stand-up desk and also a new ergonomic chair to support my back so that I feel better when working and I'm able to push more hours and also an air fryer because I want to cook my food very fast and healthy that's the main priority and I'll also probably start tracking my calories more because I really want to know what I'm eating and that I'm sticking to the KPIs and the macros that I really need to stick to in order to be healthy just to lose a bit of fat and gain a bit more muscle again. Learning point. You lose weight when you eat fewer calories than you burn. Nothing else really matters except hitting the gym so that you keep your muscle and also maintaining very good macros so that you actually lose fat and not lose muscle. I'm doing this already for nine years so you can trust me. Yeah so that's about it. In the future I'm probably gonna start shooting more content related videos focused on specific topics and sharing my expertise more if you don't know youtube works similarly to seo search engine optimization you create a youtube video based on the specific topics that other people search for either tutorials or hilarious videos these small videos that i'm posting probably won't get a lot of views just sharing a few tips with a few people that find it valuable in the future i'll probably hire designers video editors and a few more people so that they just help me to take this to a completely next level i for sure can do it myself if you want to go big you have to go all in you just can't do this part-time not saying anything if this is your fourth or fifth priority yeah so that's about it one more thing that i really have on my mind is that i really want to get a few books in print just to be able to study them those books are some books about specific marketing strategies for example 100 million offers and 100 million leads by alex ormosi which is one of the books that i really want to get my hands on even though i already read it on kindle and also in audiobook format i really want to just get my hands on the book in person and just be able to underline all the important points that are there currently i personally want to 
allocate most of my income or the money that I have towards my education just to be able to increase the value that I'm able to give or provide for other people. That's my main priority. The second priority is investing into equipment, so buying camera. Now today I'm even considering purchasing a drone because I really want to go and shoot a few videos in the mountains. They're like just really nice mountain regions and I also want to go by the ocean and beaches. I'm really thinking about buying a drone here. I'm not sure if I'll be able to take it back home to Vienna because I don't have a lot of luggage space. And the third priority where I invest most of my income is also like team. So I have a big plan on expanding my team in the future and in the upcoming months. I would say that investing into education helps you to steer yourself in the right direction. When I watch a course, for example, about video editing or about business, about marketing, I immediately realize what things I'm not doing and what things I could start implementing in all of my tactics and all of my SOPs in order to be able to achieve better results or the same results that I'm currently achieving faster. Once I know what I'm not doing or what I'm doing wrong, then I just can go ahead and fix the problems and move to the next level. And then again, I'm just invest more money into education so that I'm able to solve the higher level problems that are there. I will give you an example. A few weeks ago, I watched a course about email marketing. I realized that I never even studied this area and I never even needed to. However, now it's becoming more and more relevant towards my goals. For that reason, I started writing a few emails here and there. I mean like campaign emails. I also studied a few of the best marketing gurus and their email campaigns just to be able to get a better gist about how the pros are doing it. And you would be surprised how much I learned. Another learning point, you get better by doing things, not by just watching things, not by watching courses, by actually taking the things you've learned in a course and going out there and failing, applying what you learn. You have to set very accurate KPIs for your future development of actually where you want to go with your skills. I'll surely explain this in a later video. I guess that's it for this one. Thanks for tuning in and keep smashing it. Bye!